Okay, guys, we're here with some Eldrazi Tron. Everyone loves a little bit of Eldrazi Tron, and we are playing it. You know, we got the usual Eldrazi lands. We're playing some Urza Saga. If you're not playing some Modern Horizons 2 cards, what are you truly doing in Modern? Let's be honest here. We are playing four dismembers, a little bit different than some of the deck lists, because you have to kill Ragavan on turn one. You have to kill DRC on turn one. If you're not doing that, you're going to be losing the game very, very quickly, losing out on the mana advantage. So. We've got the rest of the usual suspects, you know, Mattery Shaper, Thought Not Seer, Reality Smasher, Karn, off to the side which you can't quite see because it doesn't quite all fit onto one screen, four Chalice of the Voids, and three Walking Ballistas. Oh, thank you, Durset, I appreciate it. But you can't get me unless you do a hundred bits or more, that's how we get them. <laughs> We've got a Singleton Alice Dust, a Singleton Endbringer. And with Karn the Great Creator comes a big Karn sideboard. Out of the board we've got a Walking Ballista, a Sundering Titan. Worm Coil Engine, Sky Sovereign, Trinisphere, and Scenarian Bridge. And a lot more one is Liquid Metal Coating, Ratchet Bomb, Source of Spyglass, Soul Guide Lantern, Fifth Thing Needle, and or Grafter's Cage, and Tormont Script. Loads and loads of sideboard cards. Makes sideboarding easy because we realistically only have two sideboard cards that we can actually bring in. One All is Dust and one Spatial Contortion. Because of that, you know, I can't mess up on sideboarding very often, unless I'm taking out my Karns, which, you know, that does happen in certain matchups, like Burn, and some other hyper-aggressive matches where you don't have the time to Karn create Creator. But, when I don't have that problem, it makes it really easy for me. Hmm. Loads of things. <laughs> Etron Goat, yes. Uh, you know, there are some other Etron Goats that have come up, you know, the Tunneling Cat, one of them, um, who's the other one? It's Portuguese, I believe, or Brazilian? I can never remember his name. He's a, he's a streamer as well. It's like Fernandez, that's his like, real name, but I can't remember his online name right now, for some reason. There's loads of people who play lots and lots and lots of Etron. So, you know, if you're ever looking for specifically Etron content, you can look through them. And then, you know, there's me that'll come out with the odd Etron content every once in a while. And my, like, 70-plus Etron videos I have on YouTube. You're looking for some more of that. Well, basic ways. Not really gonna keep the dream alive. This hand, though. It's really interesting. You can get rid of Walking Ballista. Have a turn one dismember. And then try and curve into Matter Shaper, Reality Smasher, and the Urza Saga. So, seems pretty reasonable to me. I'm trying to think about what can ruin me if I play Eldrazi Temple first. Not much, but dude, I don't really get anything out of it, so I'll just put basic ways first. <sighs> but, you know, any hand with Eldrazi Temple is usually going to be pretty good. This best turn. And we also have to remember if they're on like Ragavan or Dra Dragon Rage Channel or anything like that. Ignance. There's the Ragavan. Let's get that out of here. This matchup can be somewhat difficult because of Murktide Regent, but if we can dodge Murktide Regent, feel pretty reasonable about our spot. Exhibition map is not a bad pickup because it allows me to go get well, Cavern of Souls if I'm playing it around Counterspell. It also is like a three mana play to make. Not so bad. But it seems to be having both of the nuts. Their hand. They didn't hit an instant, so it's not instantly a 3 so that's good. Oh. Uh. I think I'm going to play Urza Saga here, even though I most likely won't use its ability on the next turn, because I want to get Bassless Caller quickly, because I think that's, once I get Bassless Caller on like a Reality Smasher, or on any of my creatures, it's going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful. Ditched a limit, interesting. E, e for zero. Okay. I don't care, like, all. I don't 
It's all good. Surprised I have EE in the main deck. That's kind of crazy. I've not seen that in blue red. All. This go get Cavern of Souls. Get Blast Zone. I think I still want to go get Cavern of Souls. Plays better against future counter spells. It's not bad. Let's get, Let's get going. Let's get killing them. Like playing this Reality Smasher out is like really good because, I mean, obviously it's Reality Smasher, but also, oh, they're trying to get lucky. Oh no, they they hit my reshoot. Okay, I was like, are they trying to get lucky with their holy? Because that that would be crazy. But I'm that makes me think they probably have another unholy heat. Kind of sucks for me. But we're still gonna have Bassus Caller plus Thought Thoughts here. Not the end of the world. Oh, this person's getting a lot of card advantage with the Express Federations. But I think our spot's pretty good. I think our spot is pretty nice here. Let's hmm. Holy heat. That's not good. Essentially spent three mana to deal with my Reality Smasher in a reasonable way, but what I can do is take whatever their next big threat is. Inward Relic. I do not have a main board relic, unfortunately. I don't think there's any reason to use the Urza Saga, seeing as they have the Eon Zero already in play. So I will just let it go off and use the mana to be able to Let's call her. Let's see what they got. Holy Heat, Rick Tide Regent the Braid. Wow. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. You take unholy heat. It's unfortunate. That is highly unfortunate. Express Federations work wonders for them. It's unfortunate this Warping Wheel is just essentially textless. Yeah. Although we do have outs to just like hitting Walking Ballista, and then we can like Ballista, Quip Caller. I mean, what they do here. So they could do one, two, three, four. They could leave this as a three, three. They want just make a seven, seven. I mean, unholy heat is just an incredibly broken magic card. Like they just okay. Guess I'll do this then. Appear. They can't upgrade yet. And drawing Spiral of Canal is like close to the best case scenario for us. We have to make this attack. We have to make the block. Sucks a lot because we're like. They have like infinite good draws. And they have Fiery Eyelid.
It is a braid of two unknowns. Okay, braid and one unknown. Braid and still one unknown. Oh, wish. I guess I wish I didn't attack with my guy, though. I would have lost to a lightning bolt if I did attack. Or possibly could just snap against me. I mean, we still have a couple different draws that are just, like, incredibly good. Just looking at, like, nearly on the spot. And it's all in just pretty good protection, depending on what they have. A real use for our mana, so we're gonna equip here, so at least make them use their braid. Could just be dead here. They're five. Um they only really have one holy heat left in their deck. Like Snapcast from Agent Holy Heat obviously is incredibly good for them, but I don't really do about that. Oh, Lightning Bolt is not going to get it done, because they have the discard clause. That's card is a braid, it will get countered, and then we win. Told you guys we had some good draws. Told you guys we had some good draws. I mean, we were incredibly far behind on cards, but they really only had, like, a couple cards that I cared about. Um, Space Torch seems good. All Dust is kind of like medium. This is a good answer to Merc Tide, but no. They're playing both EE -E and a Braid in the main deck. That's kind of wild. It's pretty wild. Or do I not want here? The Swamp is kind of unnecessary. We have Tron. I think I'm supposed to keep here. We mulligan into six. All good things for me. All great things for me. Endbringer Rulamog? I think so. I've been very impressed by Endbringer. Rulamog's been like pretty medium. That is a card that is unfortunate to see. Turn one Ragavan on the play. Classic. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on fakefollows.com. How about I uh, ban this random account? Oh. Wow. Okay, this is problematic for us. Well, I think I have to just try and get Tron and then Ballista this all down. Well, I'm doubtful they don't have a counter spell. I think I can become famous without it, you know, my own sort of fame. Smasher? Well, they can't cast that, so that's good for me. I feel like they have a counter spell, or it's either a counter spell or a rule spell, so. Let's see. Here. I think I have to do this and just feel bad when they just have the answer. Wow. Okay. I will try to shoot their guys on their upkeep. They cannot make colors, yes.
Okay, well. I didn't even keep the guy alive, but I did get to kill two of them, so I think that's a win in my book. That is a win in my book. It's fine. I'm going to lead on this. Our souls, I think. Play out Urza Saga. Play out Matt Reshaper. That extra strength. We could have gotten, we could have just gotten blast zone, but it kind of like made our turn really awkward because the amount of mana that we had. Smelly, like bullshit. Like obviously the downside here is they get to hit us with a ragavan again, but that eats up all of their mana. Spider, they cannot cast that. Oh my, my computer just like exploded there for a second. Wow, that scared me. Let's do this. Big attack here is fine as well. This computer, there we go. Because most likely they won't be able to kill me. Well, I'll like, there's no combo of cards I think that could kill me besides, I guess, Unholy Heat Bolt and then hitting Walking Ballista. No, that amount of yeah, it doesn't do anything. And then we just go get Basilisk Call next turn. Oh, they're just gonna let me block, sure. A fan. I'm surprised how well this game went for us. I mean, their hand just ended up not being good against, you know, strong Ballista. <laughs> Did you have asked this guy? That's kind of funny. We only had one map left, too. That's pretty funny. So, or I think this is uh, what we call the GG's. Yeah, I mean, when the Ragavan can't really hit anything, it makes it a lot easier for us, right? Like, they, they, they can't really hit anything from our deck. So, like, really, it's just mana generation. And we were pretty lucky that they just had no way to, like, make their... Like, if they made their Dragon Rage channels both through threes, we definitely could have lost this game. It would have been a lot harder, but... We got... I mean, we got pretty lucky. We had turn three Tron, so... And was very good, but not good enough. And they kind of stumbled at the end, right? Like, they kind of just had, like, lands plus, like, three Ragavans, so... That's how that goes sometimes as well. Not much they can do about that. Oh, I think Eldritch is worse than Tron because of the heavier. 
I think Tron is good in a metagame in which you can predict what there's going to be. And I think that metagame in particular is um, like a preliminary, like a Magic Online preliminary, where the metagame is fairly static. And you see relatively the same amount of players there, and it's a small tournament. Where, when you know Tron is going to be good, because of the certain players that you see and what type of decks that they're going to play, you can tell that it's going to be good. And with Eldrazi Tron, I think it's better in a slightly more wide open. Because, you know, you have stuff like Thought Not Seer. That's, your cards are more generally good. And you're not entirely dependent on Tron working. Whereas, like, you know, you don't know if you need to, like, you know, actually have some threat or do something on the first few turns. Whereas in the prelim metagame, decks you'll see a lot. Cascade Rhinos. Don't have to do anything, really, until, like, turn three. Um, you'll see the, like, Red Black slash Grixis Lyrus decks take a long time to get going. Um... You'll see other decks that are just, like, relatively slower. Like, the control decks as well that, like, Watto uh, basically um, popularized recently. With, like, the Bant or, like, blue-white or blue-white-red control decks that are very, very slow. You have a lot of counter spells, but, like, if you ever whiff on a turn, you kind of get owned. So, I think Eldrazi Tron is better the more wide open it is. Because you can just have generally, like, good hands. Whereas Tron just gets, like, dunked. Like, you just get dunked by a lot of the random stuff. Like, your combo matchup's pretty damn bad. Your, like, hyper aggro matchup's very bad. Like, stuff like that. Whereas, you know, when you know the metagame's, like, mid range or controlly, you can kind of abuse that with Tron. Which people have recently been doing. Or with Green Tron, I mean. Jolly Tron has been putting up that many results, uh, barring, you know, the Tunnel and Clat. The, uh, the tunneling cat, who kind of, I'm not necessarily sure you would say it is a testament to Eldrazi Tron being good, but rather a testament to them being very, very good with the deck as well as playing a lot. So it kind of, you know, kind of hard to say. I'm going to draw or against Lurus, but we do have this member. The blast zone. I'm going to keep this in. Relatively weak, but has a lot of potential. I have a few different draws that can kind of fix this hand up to be really good. This is very confusing. This, whatever this start is, I did not expect. And it's terrible. I don't actually think it's as terrible as you think it is. Versus the Lurus. I am incredibly confused. I am very, very confused about what is happening right now. My, I want to get my child. I want to get my... I wanted to get my expedition map down, but you know, Chalice One versus Lurus deck's fucking good. And it could be Murpho, but like I just I just have no idea. I literally have no idea what's happening right now. What's Shell Zero? Um so I'll just play another Urza's Tower. I think I may just go get Cavern of Souls here. Well, we sure will find out here soon enough. See what's going on. I just um 
I guess it's like Luris control. I I just I don't understand. Maybe I should have taken the spreading seeds, but my guess is they're gonna use the spreading seeds on something else, and I think the counter spell is gonna be worse down the line for me. Versus one of my like better threats against them, which is Karn. It's just so confusing. I, I like to see that. Throw away a card. I may just tick up my blast on the two at this point. Seems like what I should be doing. Here. Not the worst draw. I'm just gonna activate Earth Saga here. No real reason not to. Get a right. I'm just like, what's their wing? It's just Snapcaster Mages? Are they just winning with like Snapcaster Mages and they're playing like Crypt, Crypt Command and Archmages Shrines? White blue. That is concerning. Okay, expedition map. This just doesn't quite work how I want it to, does it? Let's attack. Snap cast range. Yep. It's expected. Look what we have a basic swamp still to go get. I guess we also have ways. Right. I just clicked whatever the first base came up. It was so small I didn't even notice. And it's not like swap really matters at all. It is. They have another pet. So kind of ruined me by going for expedition map. So I'm gonna do this instead. I should have played out my land first there actually. That was a mistake, because if I could have then blessed them dealing with the Snapcast Mages and the and the uh, spreading seeds, but I didn't think about that today. He breaks me cards. <laughs> oh, there on Bring the Light for Valky. I see now. I see what is happening. It all is coming together now. It's all coming together. It's all coming together now. All coming together. Look at Grizz's power plant. Down this, down this, down this, play expedition map, this mana, last turn. So they're blue white, 
but like a little bit of green to bring to light without the beauty. And they probably have the the triome not to be just sky, but rather for prismatic ending. That's my guess. That's my guess. That was happening here. That's what makes a lot of sense to me. They have another, so they're brick to lighting again. Bad again. Okay. Hmm. I still do this. Plays around basically everything. That card plays like plays around removal spells because they don't have two cards. Cryptic command still just taps it down. Not that big of a deal. And I can go get Urza Saga afterwards if they do that. And, like play out and bring her if I really want to. But Warping Whale is very good in this matchup. All this dust kind of sucks. Huh. Hmm, what do I want to do? Allstust is like a very expensive answer to Valky, but it is an answer to Valky. This member kind of sucks too. <laughs> I wonder if there's something better to bring in. It showed Path to Exile. Bellinger kind of sucks. Could just bring in Sundering Titan, take out a dismember, because Karn is most likely going to be going to get other things. Hmm. Does make Karn a bit worse in certain spots, though. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this out. May just be blasphemous or really bad, but I'm gonna try that. Um. And has a lot of bad things about it. It has a lot of good things too. But I think the bad outweighs the good. Sand if it had an old Jazzy Temple, I would really think about it. Yuck. I will reluctantly keep this hand and feel very bad about it. Do this and hope to hit. I think it's gonna be better than a lot of fours. On the things. I still think I like my keep, even though we left on a land twice. This is one the heck of a mana base. Well, unfortunately, this hand did not pan out at all. I think I still like my keep, even though it didn't pan out at all. No, I'm fine conceding it. I am fine conceding at this point. There's people that say I concede a bit too early, but I think this is a reasonable spot to concede. I think this is a reasonable spot to concede. I think if I still had the ability to, you know, get Tron, I guess there's certain games people tell me to not concede because it's, like, boring or, like, oh, you should play to your house, but it's, like, 
My outs are both incredibly slim, and we are essentially going to be doing nothing for a long time if we do continue to play. I'm saying I can keep saying what's reasonable to me. There's always this divide. People always say play all Jazzy Temple first, draw 12 Jazzy Temple. I say in these spots play Power Plant first. Because you have eight draws to a Tron land versus three draws to a temple. And if you draw a Tron land, it's way better for you. Or if you play a tr if you draw a Tron land, it's better to play out this first. If you draw a temple, it's better to play the temple out first. But it's eight outs versus three outs. That is unfortunate. Nothing we could have really done about, you know, certain ones prismatic and maybe. It's just fine. You know. I'm going to play Wastes here. Because they've shown me spreading seas already. White, white. Hmm. I think. No, I think making one one is still better actually, because we have card in our hand. Really think they're playing voice negation. Nah. I think that there's the potential. I think seeing what they're working with is better for us. Let's do counter spell. Not casting me. It's not doing much. Not the worst draw possible. Let's jam this. I think I'm just going to go after the lands at this point. Seems like the way to go. Sagoth Triumph. Sure. What are they going to do now? Just play out Falcon. Okay. I don't care about that. Not care about that one at all. Counter spell, you're out of here. We have multiple dismembers, so I feel completely fine attacking here. I'll probably just dismember Valky in their upkeep. Okay, I'll just do this now. That's fine. They want to counterspell my dismember, I think that's completely fine with me. Ending my Eldrazi sign, I assume. Yep, I made them do a play that I don't know if they would have made necessarily otherwise. That would be really good for me. And concession. Well, somehow the dismembers actually kind of came in a little bit clutch there. Did not expect that. It's working out for us. So far, we're 2 0. Not gonna complain. <sighs> Not gonna complain at all. Go 
Lakers, man. I mean, they're they're gonna have they're gonna be down to two lands. They miss the land draw. Most likely, they can't do whatever they're trying to do with the lands. So. Let's see what good old Dragon Slayer 90 Luris, Kahira, Obos, Orion is your um, I'll keep this in. It's a little bit meh, but has some good things going for it. It's first getting out the second temple doesn't really matter. So, what type of Yorion deck are you? These Yorion decks are usually bad matches for me, I think. So, hopefully, they stumble on some things. Where is it? Okay. 80 cards, still Ragavan. Turn one. Who would have thought? 80 cards, still turn one Ragavan. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Time. Hmm. It's Lightning Helix? It's Lightning Helix. Oh, yeah, yo, yeah. Unfortunate. Stellar. Temple, please. Look. Yup, yup, yup. I don't want to play out of the saga because I'm going to be using my man over the next few turns. I'm sure, well, they can't cast that. I guess that's good for me. That's so much mana. Ragavan uh, is so broken. Ragavan is so broken. It's a broken card. So, yeah. What are you gonna do? What you gonna do? You know. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Ragavan comes for you? Ragavan, Ragavan. They keep my land. Oh yeah, they just. I'm just losing to Ragavan. Uh, mana advantage. Your way to kill your opponents. It's a good game plan. I don't know how I win this game at this point. I will. I guess I'll continue to try. Good sometimes I start to tell. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna do what you're gonna do when Ragavan comes for you. Ragavan, Ragavan. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Ragavan comes for you? Ragavan, Ragavan. On that. Doris with a fetch land. Yikes. Yakers. Yikers. Oh, what are they gonna do with this? That's a cool. <laughs> are they just are they just playing like like Niv but with Ragavan? 
It's literally it's just Nib with Ragavan, actually, isn't it? This is Nib with Ragavan. I like the bear. Hmm. Uh. If I win this game, you know, I don't know. I don't know. How I, can, I actually don't know how I can win this game. See, the people who say I don't concede early enough, this is, you know, I'm not conceding. There's always a chance. More than I just want to know if they're playing new. I need to know. No attacks? What? How do they know attacks there? Alright, now I want to equip it. This this card on five mana makes that really, really bad. Also, I don't have enough mana to equip because it's too to equip. Well, there's all five colors of mana red, green, white, blue, black. Brown plan, okay. Plus right, that's what it looks like. All dust. We need to get to mana, which we technically will, because we're gonna have extra map. We're gonna have Tron. I'm going to bring back that. Do we draw here? Card. Go get tower here. Guess I can do this. Act of Fairy. Still built three to him, or three to the Teferi, so that's something. Oh. Uh, Vindicate, you have done me dirty. But I could win this game still. Need to deal damage to this somehow. You're a bit difficult. This thing is a bit more interesting. Add to a couple things with the one I'm about to take, but. It's better versus a few things as well. Yeah. 
really like the line that I just took. I guess, uh, people who say to not concede, it works when your opponent has absolutely nothing. And I think they messed up. I think they messed up a lot here. I guess that's one way to win. They had three turns in a row where they could have bounced my Urza Sog and make it so I could get Tron, which I think was the only way that gave me the ability to come back in. And here we are. Oh, we need them to also whiff on a way to deal with my Search for Spyglass here. Oh, I thought they were going to get me there for a second. That was what they drew for turn. So they still have all these cards in their hand. Sometimes you just don't concede. Here. Look to Fairy Time Ravel, they could have bounced my Urza Saga, like a million turns. You guys say Sky Sovereign, but I have a much better idea. It's called Leaving Them With No Lands. What do you guys think about that? I just think that's a slightly better plan. I, I wouldn't say so. Good luck, opponent. I believe in you. Are you? <laughs> Good luck. I believe in you. Like, we should have never won this game. Never, never in a million years we won this game. Well, this is actively bad. This card is bad. This is what we have to do. You have to take out the chalices because they do nothing in this matchup. Yeah, I do not think you're going to win that game. I wish I had clips on so I could have, like, the first clip and the second clip to be all, you know, put them out and then I can make, like, a short or something out of it. Are you guys looking up card possess is possess portal a magic card? Possess portal is a magic card. Sandas does not turn three TKS, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the sand. I originally thought the sand was bad, but hear me out. If they don't ragavan me on turn one, which they didn't, we have the potential Still have the potential to hit Tron on turn three. Should be nuts. If we don't hit it, we have a couple different land draws that are incredibly good for us as well. Which I'll draw the temple as one of them. Is this gonna be Ragavan? That's a surprising one to put it on. Also they have Prism Mat. So weird. So, so weird. High likelihood I just go get another old dog down with Lyrian. Not 
not going to play around like a counter spell. It seems really bad to me. Let's see the rule spell you've got. Yeah, but let's see the grip. Let's see the grip. White, black. Oh, it's Kai's Guile. I see, I see. I see, I see. Random Prismari command, lightning helix bring to life. Which of these cards can I not beat? Bring to light probably is the card I can't beat. Let's get bring to light. Not in here. I think I'm fine playing this blessing. It's my minus they have like Helix plus with Mario Command deal with it. If I have plus, they most likely don't have a clean answer. Oh, all math. They gained fourth. They did gain fourth gal. Pretty unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable. Not something big here? Sorry, command. Okay. So they did do the Helix Plus with Mark. Okay, sure. That was what I was hoping for. They do, like, stuff that I don't care about with all those spells. I don't have to throw everything at it. Land here would be big. Slam. I don't want them to Yuri on Blink like on that. Keep that going. Mana kind of sucks. I think, like, usually the longer the game goes, it should be worse for me. But in this case, I think the longer the game goes, the better it gets for me. They draw a Niv. Or they just have another on that. That sucks. Oh. Okay. Are they gonna Yori on here and just blink it? I mean, just all this dust again here. Vindicate. Alright. So their hand is Yori on and an unknown. It's not actually this Fanatic, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Okay. That's, that's something I can get behind. Tron here is not a bad. What are they going to do here? That's fine. 
I hope they Yorion afterwards. I read this all stuff. I don't think I have to greet it per se. Like I'm most likely just gonna all this dust next turn because I think they're gonna Yori on here. When I all this dust next turn, then I can like Karn plus Sundering Titan next turn. Unless I have Karn Sundering Titan this turn. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure I'm one minute off, right? Three, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. No, actually I have exact no. But I still think I want all this dust because they get to use this. Ripper is mine. Because, like, this, the Sunning type doesn't end up actually doing anything. So I've got two cards, two random cards in the hand. Which is now going to be three random cards. Oh, still don't think I care. Now I just get a Sundering Titan, them, right? And they should be pretty dead from this spot. A counter spell of some sort? What is this? I'm very confused. They ex if they destroy this, they lose every single land they have. This looks like they're going to Kai Skyle with like Entwine. They are gonna have no lands in play except for this wooded foothills and that. Alright, for sure. I'm not really sure what their game plan is with that play. I mean, they only really lose one extra land, so they probably have to do that regardless. But still. My card takes one. Play Ballista four seven. I think I'm gonna just go get. Uh, I think I'm still just gonna go get get something tight again, but just get liquid metal coating and then use my other card and just start killing off the lands forever. I mean, they could easily just have a removal spell for my ballista, and then it doesn't do anything. They have a removal spell for ballista, white, blue, black. So they do have Pascal. All right. That's not too big a deal, though. Press the wrong button there. It worked. Alright. So they won for one me, basically, because their life total is irrelevant. Wow, that's not a bad one to rip. Could still lose this game. This game's not over quite yet. Can go get um Sundering Titan again though. Any six? Oh yeah. Okay. I see your opponent. You're in there. You're in there. Let's go get Sundering Titan again. Let's 
Aim is still going somehow. I think I'm just going to bring Blast and up to two to deal with the Ren and then use Liquid Metal Coating next turn. Why not just remember Ren? We could do that, but then they have four mana for the turn. I think we can just blast them. It'll be fine. And they, we just remember Ren through Liquid Metal Coating, activate it, target that, and then plus it, and then dismember it. Let's do this right now so I can just get done with. Okay, they've seen enough. They've seen enough. What a weird game. What a weird game. What a weird, weird, weird game match. A weird game and match. The mere mill. Well, this <laughs> we got a full house. Too too bad it's with the way sex edition app. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. That is funny. Let's see. Well, Taj's gonna be slapped is gonna be real bad for them. So I got that going. Got the sand is bad too. I'll keep the sand. I think this is giving me myself my best chance. I have eight draw steps towards a land that really fixes our problem. Oh, I still like my hand. And now I'm mulliganed. Well, that's that is nice. I actually like my hand even more. And, okay, this is, like, my mulligan happened to be, like, perfect. We're still, like, highly likely to lose because we're on the drawing sprint. No interaction until really, like, turn three. If we're on the play, I think we just snap off, kill our opponent, like, pretty easily. You know? Eidolon. Just a bunch of burn spells. Also pretty bad, especially when they're one mana burn spells. Well, it's got some goods, yeah. The only guy was a six mana or a six damage burn spell, unfortunately. I have to do this. Good. Wow. What a hand they had. We have a Witchbane Orb. I don't believe we have a Witchbane Orb. Hmm. We do have a Worm Quill Engine, though. 
which we can play out next turn. Making it so they have to double rip on us. So on. Doesn't look like they're gonna double rip on us. So pretty fine doing that. Worm coil engine. Let's see it. That's what I like to see, baby! <laughs> we, uh, we got pretty lucky there. We have to cut these. How many of these cards can I bring in? Uh, okay. This feels bad, but I'm 99% sure your card is bad in this matchup. This member is obviously heinous in this matchup. And yeah, we gotta we gotta have some stinkers in our deck, but they're better than the stinkers we have. Yeah, let's pick this out here. Yeah. Can't keep this in. This hand like this hand looks like it's fine, but it actually like sucks a lot. But I have to keep it, I think. So that has high potential. Don't goblin guide. That is so much worse than Goblin Good. All right. Well, I have Ballista. Oh, how do I do this? Or even if they have a second Ragaman in their hand. If they had Smash from the Reigns, I think they would have used it already. At least would have thought about it. Play a little bit safe here. Possibly a bit too safe. Block. Well, 
May just play out Urza Saga, play Chalice of the Lid. So bad versus Wear and Tear. Okay, that changes things a lot. That changes things very drastically on how I would like to play this game now. Now I want to do this. And I have I have a feeling. I have a feeling that they have Smash with the Rings in their hand. I have a feeling they have Smash of the Rings in their hand. This is to bait out Smash of the Rings or Wear and Tear on Chalice of the Blue on one. Obviously, it can backfire drastically, but that's my plan. Looks like it's backfiring based on, or potentially backfiring at least. Okay, I was completely wrong about what their hand was. I was completely wrong about what their hand was. I was completely wrong. I thought for sure that there was a pot that they were like waiting. On it. Guess I was just completely wrong. This should be locking out a lot of what they can do. Not cast bolt. I'm not sure. Why? Well, I, I couldn't tell you. That's a good question. Well, they messed up. I got rewarded for my play, even though it was kind of bad. Tell us why. I've said why I challenged. I thought they had a artifact removal spell, and they were waiting on it and not willing to go after the map. Waiting for the chalice, they would hit the chalice, and then I could play my passless caller on the reality smash the next turn. That was my hope. That was why I was thinking. Why they can pull? Not sure. I gotta go pee really quickly, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Oh, got back just in time. Slash. Are you on the list? I am not a fan of them, but you know, if other people are, that's cool. I think with how this hand looks, I want to be keeping it like this. So, right? Yeah, no. I mean, I'm completely fine with other people playing it. Well, this matchup should theoretically be good for me. Go Chalice the Void. Anything can go wrong. Oh, well, I haven't seen that version. If you could link it to me, I'd love to see it. Watch else one while I can. Some Forge Mystic obviously sucks, so they can get the hammer into play. 
but I can warp and whale the stone forge with sick as well. this out. I don't have the mana to, to activate it right now, so. And then next turn we'll thought monster them. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. I like this one as well. That is not good for me. That is not good for me at all. Snatch land. Huh. I think I'm supposed to take a shadow spear here. No, it's all fine. It doesn't I don't care how big the link is. That is unfortunate that they do that. Now I can equip the hammer this turn. I hope as I draw a temple or a tower next turn. This 11 damage is irrelevant because of this. Huh. Well. They had like a three outer to draw the Stoneforge Mystic, and they also needed to draw this and have like the Shadow Spear in hand and then draw this. Lots of things went wrong for us, but that's how magic goes sometimes. Unlucky. That's just unlucky. Being on the draw did not help us either. I think if we were on the play, maybe we could have won. Put hammer into play, and they can just put a hammer on the other guy. I'm dead. But they saw the line. Gotcha. I want to get rid of. What do I want to get rid of? Really want the second all's dust. All got it. Hmm. Yes. Um, hand seems particularly bad. Land is worse because it doesn't have a second land. That second land would be pretty good actually. Just look it again. Yeah, this hand kind of sucks too, but probably not going to get the five on force. Unfortunately, I think I want to keep.
And they could just have, you know, uh, Sigardazade plus Hammer. i doubtful that they wouldn't have cast Sigardazade first, though. Here's a gift, okay. Actually, fine. I'll play if I want to see. I think I can do better though. I'm not actually sure what our like good draws are at this point. Our play into Karn. Sure. But, like that assumes that they have nothing as well. It's power plants. Touch that spear, sure. I got that, sure. Give me something good. Can't attack here. Because they're 5 5, turn into a 6 6 as a spring leaf drum. I need to draw, like, Karn here pretty badly. To draw Karn here pretty badly. Draw Karn pretty bad. Hmm. Look here. Hope they activate, yeah. Because I want to draw Karn. I draw a card and I think I'm gonna find a spot and go get the Snake Bridge. It's Karn. I just realized I messed up by not playing out my land last turn. They come back to hurt me. Come back to hurt me bad. We'll see. I mean, if they have a pinning needle, we're in a pretty bad spot. Don't have it. Okay, that's good. But me not playing my land could cost me, right? I wonder if I can equip this to itself. Can't equip it to itself. <laughs> oh, it would be funny if you could. You cannot equip an own equipment to itself if you if you make it bigger.
Huh. You gonna put a hammer on it? Do they just have double hammer? I assume they just have double hammer here. Just makes the most amount of sense. Oh, they don't have double hammer. Wow. I'm surprised they made that attack then. What happens if I just go get Walking Ballista here? Giving them the activated abilities of artifacts, does that really matter here? I don't think it does. If they have this number here, it kind of sucks, but... I mean, we could lose. Like, they, they actually have... I mean, depending on how they sideboarded, they have many outs. I think I should have lost this game. Because of my, like, misplay with the land. We get two more turns. We got pretty lucky. It depends... I, I mean... Based on them conceding there, I assume that they did not uh, sideboard in the ass to that. Sand sucks. It sucks too. It sucks too. Oh okay. yeah, this is our hand. That's scary. Oh, that's scary. That is very scary. Wow, they're just doing that main phase. Okay. 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 Scary. Well, oh yeah, whatever. They just had the nuts. They had the nuts. GGs. <laughs> Jeez. Eh, nothing we can do. And we're dead. We're just dead here because they deal us 20 on turn 3. Eh, we got turn 3, we're on the draw. We could have mulliganed slightly differently to be able to put um, Chalice of the Void on 1 there. If we would have put Chalice of the, one on Vo Chalice of the Void on 1 there, I would have drawn two chaos. We would have had to chump block. And then they would have killed us the next turn. Because they put the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, we put Chalice on one, we play this. I guess we take the hammer, but they still have Shadow Spear, so we chump, we go down to like three or four. Draw all this dust and die. Okay, so we were dead regardless of how we sideboarded. But that's how it goes sometimes. I'm gonna be the degenerate I am and open these chests because I'm upset. If I won, I would not have opened these chests. Um, I think I won on these chests because of the Force of Vigor. I think that's a win. Let's see, what's the E price of Force of Vigor? That's a win! 
That's a win. 42 tickets. That's a win. That's a win. <laughs> Glad I opened the chest, boys. Finally a good chest open. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, we won, even though we lost. We won. And if you like that we won, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.